Ulysses Unicorn Review Story Unicorn reads You, you, you Unicorn reads You, you, you Unicorn reads You, you, you The unicorn family was working together to keep their yard beautiful. Ulysses Unicorn was helping Papa Unicorn pull weeds and pick up leaves. They poked the weeds with their horns. Then they tossed their heads and threw the weeds into a basket nearby. Poke, toss, poke, toss. As he was working, Ulysses Unicorn lost his sunglasses. Oh no! Then Ulysses Unicorn's kitty cat helped him find them again. But Ulysses Unicorn's sunglasses were broken. Papa Unicorn soon fixed them as good as new with a special glue. Phew! Just then... Ulysses Unicorn's neighbor, Musi, called Yoo-hoo. Musi had brought big news to Ulysses Unicorn. The Honolulu Junior Bicycle Race would be held on Union Avenue on Tuesday. Papa Unicorn and Mama Unicorn gave Ulysses Unicorn permission to join the race. First, Ulysses Unicorn learned the rules. Next, Ulysses Unicorn got his uniform ready. Then Ulysses Unicorn galloped to the garage to get his bicycle ready too. But as soon as Ulysses Unicorn opened the garage door, he knew he had a huge problem. Papa Unicorn, said Ulysses Unicorn sadly, just look at my bicycle. Ulysses Unicorn's bicycle had Two flat tires. Papa Unicorn went to work and used his screwdriver. Papa Unicorn removed the wheels from the bicycle. There were itty bitty holes in the tubes. Papa Unicorn put a glob of his super duper gooper glue in each hole. And before long, the bicycle tires were as good as new. When Ulysses Unicorn hopped out of bed on Tuesday morning, he remembered that this was the day of the Honolulu Junior Bicycle Race. The Unicorn family spent the whole morning getting Ulysses Unicorn ready. At noon, the unicorns went together to Union Avenue. Everyone was right on time. Everyone was excited. The little animals line up next to their bicycles at the starting line. Mr. Bear read the rules to make sure that all the little animals would have a happy race. Finally, it was time for the race to actually begin. Mr. Bear blew his whistle and the little racers were off. Ulysses Unicorn was off to a great start. Ulysses Unicorn kept paddling faster, faster, faster. Soon, Ulysses Unicorn had passed all the racers except Musi. Ulysses Unicorn kept paddling closer, closer, closer to Musi. Suddenly, Ulysses Unicorn's kitty cat came scooting out into the street. Ulysses Unicorn and Musi both turned to miss the kitty cat and hit each other. Kapoosh! Smoosh! Ulysses Unicorn and Musi found themselves in the middle of Union Avenue. Boo! cried Musi as huge tears rolled down her long nose. My bicycle wheels are loose. Both tubes are flat. Boo-hoo! 
Ulysses' unicorn stopped to help Musi up. Just then, the poodle, the raccoon, the cow, and the goose flew by on their bicycles. Oh, Ulysses Unicorn, you must go on to finish the race, said Musi. Ulysses Unicorn did not want to go on without his friend. Then Ulysses Unicorn looked at his bicycle. My bicycle is broken in two pieces, said Ulysses Unicorn. Let's each use one part of my bicycle. Then we'll each have a unicycle. Ulysses Unicorn and Musi hopped on the new unicycles. What a super ride! The unicycle racers enjoyed the beautiful scenery as they raced along Union Avenue. When Ulysses Unicorn and Musi crossed the finish line, the whole group of animals whooped for joy. Everyone cheered for the unicycle racers who finished the race even if they didn't win. Everyone in Honolulu is proud of you and your unicycle idea, Ulysses Unicorn, announced Mr. Bear. You are a true friend to Musi. You may lose a race, said Ulysses Unicorn. But you will always be a winner if you are true to your friends.